Good morning to you. It is Tuesday, June 2nd. It's been quite a long time since I have um, videoed anything and I just wanted to show you what I'm working on now. This is a two foot by uh, 12 inch AI painting on ceramic tile. I love alcohol inks. I love the way they flow and I love the vibrant colors of them. And I just wanted to add some embellishments and resin the top of it. So I have added uh, sea glass and some stones and some base filler and the little uh, acrylic diamonds in places. And also along here, it is um, uh, seashells, broken seashells, and then I have some necklace pieces along the way. And my tree is made up out of uh, craft wire of different colors. And uh, when I set it on there with just the wire, I didn't really like it. I was going to try to mix it into all of my places where my leaves, where I painted my leaves, and it just wasn't enough, so I took and strung beads on each branch that I, I had made um, with the wire. So I have already mixed my resin, and I just wanted to show um, how I do my first layer to make sure everything is nailed down because I have got nothing glued, so what I usually do is uh, take my resin, which I have stirred for about four minutes thus far, and I just, I just pour it in the areas where I have laid things down. So, and then I just work on nailing them down. Just like that. been working for the last two months, I guess. Uh, not every day, but the last two months I have actually sewn over 300 uh, COVID-19 masks, I guess you can say, and donated them. I have sold a few, but if you were a frontline worker or a nurse or an elderly person, that maybe I just saw in the grocery store. I just I just gave them away. So anyways, that's what I've been doing for the last couple of months. And I have um, created a little art. I um, would like to show you um, a couple of them. Because I think they're kind of cool. This one is an 18 by 18 ceramic tile that I did, um, which I think is really pretty. I, I embellished it with uh, sea glass and liquid diamonds, and uh, it's all painted with alcohol inks. So there's that one that I've worked on. And this tray. I think turned out really pretty here so uh, it has all kinds of three dimension effect in it through the layers of resin and alcohol inks there's um, the white foam on this one is also uh, done with casting craft white inside the resin I love painting I love doing art so i just wanted to share i don't know if i will do the totality of this i know that i did not mix enough resin to completely cover everything i just wanted to be able to nail everything down in the first um, 
layer of resin. When this layer dries or cures, I will take probably um, a black Posca pen and a white Posca pen and do a few highlights on the resin, like from the sun setting over here to uh, bouncing off the branches and everything. So, and then I will do a final third layer of resin. But first things first, you have to nail everything down. Some people uh, use hot glue or um, some kind of matte finish or something like that to, to glue things down. And I just like the movement of things, so I typically trust that it's going to stay where it needs to stay. Hopefully, hopefully. Get my name covered up so nothing goes in on top of it. Generally speaking, the, the acrylic diamonds will become transparent and they'll just be adding the texture. So I want to make sure everything gets set before I go pouring thick layers of resin. Anyways, this is my process. of laying everything out. I like to choose uh, kind of unique things to embellish with. So I thought about using all the same color uh, beads and changed my mind. I think I'm going to actually lift this. It's a cabochon. And I really want it to be solid behind there. So I'm going to set that there. There you go. That will work. I want it to show the dimension, but I don't want it to look like there's a bubble behind it. So, hopefully I'm going to get all that out of there. Most of the time, you, you learn as you go, don't you? I also love using the runoffs. I don't know if you guys uh, have anything in particular that you guys like to use. All of your uh, excess on. Yeah, I love the fact that the um, sea glass, which was kind of frosty looking, once the resin gets a hold of it, it becomes clear and you just get the texture of it, which I will bring the camera down hopefully and show you. looks like I have most everything touched anyways to where it won't move anymore. I just mixed uh, 10 ounces because I knew I wanted to leave um, like areas open to be able to fill but I fill in all around the edge so it will cup up and hold the, the next layer of resins in. I'm going to show you what uh, I've been working on with my runoffs. Uh, it is going to be a rose, hopefully, and I will put probably a red base under it so it will reflect uh, all the cuttings and stuff. I don't know if you can see that or not. Hopefully you can. Anyways, that's what I do with my runoffs, with my excess. And I'm just going to... Pour the 
remainder of all of this out, knowing that I am not covering everything. Get my son back over here where it goes. He's going to move just a teeny bit, but he'll be okay. I think it's going to end up very pretty. Hopefully, hopefully. But this is just the first step of resining. Most of the time you make a mess with it, don't you? So I want everything to remain horizontal. So everywhere that it's not completely covered. I'm going to try to get horizontal lines in it so it will flow in the next layer. It's almost going to cover it. If I had done another ounce and a half maybe, it probably would have got it but things might have floated a little badly and I don't want that to happen. I think it's going to be cool. See, I put a seashell here and it stands out way too much so I'm going to remove it. don't quite like it there. It's a sharp contrast to the other rocks. So anyways, this is my first part, or my first layer of resin. It has taken me about 18 and a half, 19 hours to, to get this far. That's a long time to me. I've done it over several days. I think that's all I got. I'm going to torch it and I'm also going to look for a tiny bit of glitter maybe. Just to bounce off the tops of the rocks. I'm going to see if I can get that on there. We shall see. I don't want to get like a ton, but just a little to let it bounce off in the next layer of resin. Just a little. Put it up the side of a tree here. A little too much drop there, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna balance it there. All right, I think that's maybe I'll do a little bit in the sun, maybe just a little bit. What is that holographic? Um, glitter. Let's see if I can get a little bit more off my edges. So you torch and cover and let cure to see what the next layer will bring to fill it all in. I think it's going to be pretty.
think, I think, I think it's going to be pretty. Push this one back on. You want to make sure all your edges are flat. Nothing is barring off the bottom anyways in case somebody wants to actually set it on um, an easel or if they want to lay it flat. I will put a hanger on the back and the little um, rubber feet in case somebody just wants to lay it on a table for a centerpiece. I think it will be nice either way. So I'm gonna get my sides all taken care of. But this is what I love to do. This is my joy. It gives me peace when there's chaos in the world. Art gives me peace. It's very calming and exciting at the same time to see how something is going to turn out. Just love art, period. Okay, I know all of the bubbles probably are not out, but I'm going to go ahead and I'll bring the camera down and try to show you how it is up close. I'll take my gloves off and turn out the light and see if I can't bring this camera down without jostling, jostling you too much. Turn you around. And uh, I probably just messed up doing that. So I'm going to, I don't know. Maybe it'll be okay. Don't know if I just made you go upside down or not because how the rest of it was um, filmed. But anyways, get my light out of it. Try. And I want to show you uh, how the rocks become clear and you see the actual painting that I did with the AI. So I think it's kind of cool. I think it's kind of cool. I think it's going to be very pretty. I think I think I love uh, putting things like this on there because it gives it such great depth perception. So anyways, this is my joy. I'm just going to say uh, Peace out to you guys, and I hope you have a blessed day. Be safe. Peace out.